Well, hello there, friends and family, and we're back again today. I think it's May the 5th, if I remember correctly, but it's a special day. It's day 50, being here on the home place. Yep, made it to 50 days. I would never believe that. Never in my life would I have imagined staying in one place for 50 days. But I have. But I gotta make just a little bit small trip. I don't get all tore up. It's not gonna be far. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me show you. Now, you see right here, my son got me these five tomato plants yesterday. I'm gonna have to water them here in a bit. And these uh, two uh, Bonnie Green Bell Peppers. And I gotta be thinking about planting them. Now to do that, I need a couple things. Now, I'm gonna have to make some holes in the ground wherever I choose to put them. But I wanna have some amendments too. Now these are the Atkins tomato. You might not be familiar with it. Never actually developed. Not too far from here. In the Auburn uh, Agricultural Experiment Station back in 1966. Yep, they were. And it took 18 years. Now, that's a beef master right there. Let's see if we can find one of those Atkins. No, that's beef master. No, here's an Atkins huh? heirloom tomato, indeterminate. These are the ones I'm talking about. Developed right here, just down the road, about three and a half miles. Back in 1966. You know why is that special? It took 18 years of breeding, cross pollination, to get these tomatoes. Yep, that's why I was telling you in the previous video. Most of your heirlooms were once upon a time hybrids. Yep, sure were. You can look that up. I got Cleo here with me. Well, what makes the Atkinson so special? Well, here in the deep south, we got two things. We got extreme heat and it's humid all the time yeah if we get down around 35 percent humidity it's a miracle but this time of the year oh it's going to be 70s 80s humidity every day every day and these atkinson tomatoes were bred to survive and thrive in the heat and humidity of deep south yep and they're Prosarium wilt resistance, you know, a root knot nematode, which can be a problem here in the Deep South, and gray spot, uh, leaf uh, spot, and Spatoria leaf spot. Both those leaf spot diseases are also widespread and pretty common here in the Deep South. So, I've got to get these in the ground somewhere. You can see Cleo right there. She agrees. We've got to do something today, Papa. So, that's what we're going to be doing. So, i got to find a bucket. Find my garden trowel. Of course, there's my goo. He's with me, too. Like always. Yep, coming up my pants. My goo. I got all kinds of prick marks from your claws on my legs. Your claws are sharp, little buddy. Huh. Well, I love you too. Okay. So let me go find a bucket in my garden trial, and I'll show you what we're up to. Well, I found a small bucket in a garden trial. And that'll do just fine for now. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and clear this off this little space right here and i think it's about let's see one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine. It's about ten feet. Yep, ten feet. Now about four feet. And we'll pull a little bit of grass up there and a few other things. And we're going to stick four of those uh, tomato plants right in here. Yes, we are. But, you can see my possum right there. Been digging for grubs. That's okay. Ophelia you don't hurt nothing. She's got to eat too. That's just part of nature. But I want to get some amendments. And what I'm trying to do this year, and what I'm trying to teach the kids and grandkids is, you really don't need Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, or any box store. It's all out there if you know where to look. Now most of you, if you follow gardening channels, or these homesteading channels, you'll probably uh, recognize azomite. It's a uh, mineral and it's basically 70 minerals that is mined from an ancient uh, bed of sediment out in Utah. It's got all these 70 micronutrients in it. But as you know, here on the Piedmont Plant 2, where old Mr. Tom lives, and we're slap on top of it, aren't we, Magoo? We have what's called Alabama red clay. And you may have clay in your area too. It may be North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Texas, Oklahoma, wherever. South Carolina and I know a lot of people talk bad about the clay and if that's all you got 100% it's not the best place to grow but what most people don't know there's a lot of minerals and micronutrients in that clay and there's another thing clay retains water yep in fact it's the preferred method for building a pond if you want to build a pond, what you want to do, get you some of that clay. And you want to put down about six to eight to ten inches of clay in the bottom of that pond and around the sides. That way it'll retain water. Trust me, it will. I built a pond or two back in the day. But that's not what we're after today. Today, we're after those micronutrients. Hence why we got the bucket and the trowel. We don't need much. We're going to use them to mix with the plant dirt here in this plot. And that will provide micronutrients to the tomatoes. As well as retain some moisture. Without buying that pricey miracle grow, moisture grow pot and soil or garden soil or what have you. Right Magoo? Magoo agrees. He says he feels like it's planned now. You saw me get my keys and my wallet and everything. And rather than walk over there, I ain't going far. I'm just going across cemetery. It's about two blocks. And I'm going to take my car. I'm going to put the little bucket there in the trunk. Yep. And I'm going to drive over there. Why is that? Well, first of all, I need to run the car just a little bit. Charge up the battery. And then, I need to uh, run it. Because the brakes are all rusting up on it. You know, the rotors. So I'm sure it's going to be a little noisy. So I need to drive it just a little bit. And rather than take it somewhere on a long drive, I thought, rather than walking, I'd just fire it up and take it. So, sort of do two things at once. And like you saw, I got everything I need, and everything else is over in the car. You know, like gloves, 
wipes, mask, you name it. So, let's put the old bucket in trial in the car. See if she'll fire up. Cause it ain't ran in a while. Okay, there we go. We'll just set the old bucket in there. Of course, the trunk's been sort of a storage space too. Well, it's got enough juice to unlock the doors. Let's get on in there. Yep. Of course, it is toasted today. I think we're about 89 right now. Might be 90. Who knows? We'll see when we crank her up. Now, like I said, we got our wipes. We got our gloves. We got a mask. We're only going two or three blocks just across the cemetery. So let's see if the old uh, focus will fly her on up. She's been sitting quite some time. Well, there you go. She didn't disappoint. And it says oh, 88 degrees. Not too bad. So let's head on over and uh, see if we can get some of those cheap essential minerals to help our tomatoes and our peppers and other vegetables that we'll be planting later. So come on, I'll take you with me. That windshield's awful dirty. Might want to do something about that. That's just what happens. Still got pollen on. Let's see if we can do something about that. Well, there it goes. Getting a little water on there, washing that windshield off. You'll have to let me know if uh, what you're doing to keep the cars up. You know, I've been coming out here once a week firing this thing up but like I said that's not good aunt and I was talking to my son Sunday and I told him I thought about doing a drive about for a while drive out fuel he said, well dad just run it in the driveway I said son I've been running it for an hour at a time and it's still got three quarters tank of gas in it can you imagine how long it takes to burn the gas up idling Plus, that's not good on the car. And plus, it doesn't keep your seals lubricated. Trust me, they need to. So, I'm not going to mount y'all to the windshield. Because we're not going that far. Now, a viewer did send me one of them windshield mounts. And we'll be using it. Just not today. So, let's roll down the window. And head on over. And get us some minerals and micronutrients. beautiful day well pretty cloudy though it's supposed to be that way next day or two we got us there some wind not much just a light breeze six to eight miles an hour and like I say we're only heading block two down here you know by the big woods You'll see why in just a moment. Now if you look 
real closely, you'll probably see it as we drive up on it. Let me see if I can reposition y'all. There you go. Probably see it as we go. Well, here it is right here. Just what we're needing. Just pull off here on the side of the road. Okay. Let's get out and get her done. I can already tell that gas starting to go south or north, however which way you want to put it. Because she's a little rough today. Hmm. I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, me. Such is life. Well, let's get out here. Get this collected up. Now, as you can see, there it is. Nice, dark red Alabama dirt. Or red clay, most called. Exactly what I used to have in my lot. As you know, I have it, but it's about 8 to 10 inches underneath the surface now. But most vegetables don't send down roots that far. So we're going to get some of this. Because like I say, it's full of micronutrients and minerals. Yep. Plus, it'll hold moisture. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put it in that bucket. See, just like that. Instead of making a Amazon order or going to Lowe's, Walmart, whatever, we're going to get it right here for a little bit of nothing. Now you might wonder why this dirt pile's here. I hope this don't upset nobody, but this is what left over when they uh, dig the graves in the cemetery. Yep. You know, there's always some left over. The pile just keeps growing. And so this one has. I don't ever take a lot. Because I don't need a lot. Now I'm trying to stay to the premise gardening this year without buying anything. Of course my son gifted me those plants but that's a done deal. Okay? And I can always come back and get some more of this uh, lovely nutrient dense red soil. And you can look this up for yourself. Look it up. Uh, and do more than just look it up on Wikipedia or what pops up first on Google because you don't always get the best information. Do a little bit of in-depth research and understand all the benefits of mixing some of this wonderful red clay in with your soil. Now, like I say, granted, do you want 100% of it? No. But, having a mixture of it is highly beneficial. So, that's why we're getting it. It's just not for tomatoes and peppers. Lord knows. It will enhance all your vegetables or you know if you want to spend all that money buying that stuff from Amazon 
Lowe's or Walmart, that's fine too. I just, be honest, I've never bought it. And you know what? This year, I definitely ain't going to be buying it. <laughs> too much going on. And if there was ever a year in the past 20 years where old Mr. Tom needs to save money, now's the time. So there we go. Didn't take that long. And you saw something happening. Well, I ran my mouth. And we'll throw it, oh, up in the focus. So there we have it. Good to go. So let's jump back in and head her on back to the house. You know what? I may just take a little ride around the neighborhood. Because my brakes, I don't know about your car. My brakes are getting all rusty. Yep. I need to wear that off. She's awful noisy. So let's just take a ride around the neighborhood. I'm still self-isolated. Because I'm all by myself. And I'm in my car. At least that's the way I feel about it. So come on, y'all jump in. Uh, not too many of you. I only got so many seat belts, okay? way we can get our uh, all our bearings rotating get all of our seals lubed up and clean off the rust from the brake rotors not to mention use a little bit of gas we're still got to do something about either dropping the fuel out of this car or taking a real long road trip around through the county or whatever to uh, burn that fuel off. I don't know how I'll do it yet. If y'all have suggestions, maybe you'll let me know in the comments below. But it is a pretty day. Might as well take just a little short ride. someone out enjoying the weather riding his Harley let's take a ride up this way just a little while Ooh, it is beautiful everything's bright green and I don't see no problem with heading up here into the rural parts of my county I'm all by myself Isolated in my car. I got everything I need. I got glasses, gloves, wipes, Tyvek suit, and as you saw, Mary's with me. Yep. She's with me too. And I got my cell phone. gonna go far. I still got, like I said, I still got to think about what to do about this car. I, when talking with my son Sunday, I asked him was he driving the truck and he said no, it's just been sitting there. I told him no, he need to be driving that truck at least once a week back and forth to work. Otherwise gas get old and it and then we'd have a huge problem. Just like what I'm about to have with this little Focus. Part of the gas in the tank's been in there since uh, 
first part of January, at least half of it. The other part was put in close to the end of February, and if all of y'all don't know, that ethanol gas, it don't go long. You might get three, four months, even then you might be running rough, but after that, it can cause you some, some beer problems. That's why they always tell you to run your uh, small engines out of gas or put fuel stabilizer in them. Now I can put fuel stabilizer in it, but I've also read a lot of things where that just doesn't work too well. People have had some problems. So, I'm gonna have to contemplate what to do. But it don't hurt to take a few minutes drive. I'm, I'm here videoing it. You're with me. Enjoying the ride. You'll see, it's not gonna be all that long. I'm going to try to make this not one of my forever videos. But in a way, it's just good to be out away from my little half acre and see life still goes on. Now we're going to stop here at the Macedonia Christian Church. Right here. Back when I used to be doing the a lot of car work and hot riding and all that. This was my turnaround place. This little old church. Been there forever. And I mean that totally been there forever. Especially when you look at the cemetery. Back in the 1800s probably. And this would be my turnaround. You know, whether I was working on my vehicles or my son, daughters, friends, family, whoever. I'd run it up Macedonia there, see how the car drove out. We turned around right here. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to turn around and head it on back. I don't think it's very far. You can see the privets all in bloom. Oh yeah. Simply a beautiful day. Like I say, it's partly cloudy. Too cloudy. Depends on all what's happening at the moment. I'm sure you can see the sky up above. And what I like about you don't got to go too fast. Speed limit's just 45. You can just sort of tool along. People don't like you dragging around. There's enough straightaways. They can pass a little old man up. Trust me, they will. So, we're going to head on down here back to the neighborhood. And we're going to pull it on in to the house. I'm hoping those brake rotors clear on off, get the rust off them. But I don't know if you can hear them, but the noise from the ride is just a little bit crusty right now. You can tell those rotors got, oh, got a little bit of rust on them. You can tell I ain't drove in a while too. I went off the road there for about three to five feet. It's amazing how soon you get out of the knack of doing things. Or maybe it's just old Mr. Tom just getting old. Not paying attention anymore, who knows. Because I'm really soaking in everything I'm looking at. Because I've been looking at the same patch of ground for a long, long time. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this and I hope y'all are too. I know a lot of you like to do the rides out the countryside as well as, you know, our shopping trips that we used to do and hopefully we'll get 
hopefully we'll get to do them again once this old virus is gone. Yep. So far, not a whole lot of traffic. But, you know, for those of you who are worried and, you know, some of you may say I broke quarantine, I'm in my car, all sealed up. You know what? I even got a HEPA filter filtering the air coming into my cabin. Yep, most of y'all, if you got a modern day car, got a cabin filter. And you can get a HEPA filter that will actually filter out pollen, other things like bacteria and viruses. Of course, now they are pretty pricey, folks. But I put one in, you can too. So, got the windows up. I'm in my own little environment here, just like I would be at the house. Now, you might say, well, you could break down, be an accident. Well, yeah, I could, and I know there's some risks with this. But like I said, I've got everything possible to protect me should that happen. You know, like I said, I got goggles, gloves, wipes, Tyvek suit, Mary, and of course if I'm in some heinous accident, none of that'll matter. Let's just say right now, I'm riding with God in the passenger seat. Of course, I think one of y'all is over there, too. So you might want to scoot you up and give him a little bit of room, okay? Well, it don't look like we got a whole lot going on here for a Tuesday. You look over there at the convenience store, not much going on. Now, we're just going to go down to the end of the mill village, which is what I call my neighborhood. down where the old hospital used to be, well, the only hospital Towson used to have, that was built by the cotton mills back in the day. Of course, somebody bought it, decided rather than turn it into like a bed and breakfast or a nice little inn like I wanted to do, they just bulldozed it down. It's such a shame. somebody out walking. That's good for you. Now, I ain't seen mask one, but I mean, I don't got one on right now because I'm in the car. And I ain't going to the store. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going in. I'm just taking a short ride, folks. Sharing the beauty, the splendor, and the freedom of a wonderful May day here in my little small town in Alabama. Now, there is a wharf, casual seafood. The coast is here. And what they do is they come here and they sit and they sell fresh seafood from the Gulf of Mexico. And they uh, started doing that when uh, this here old virus thing took place. Yep, they did. Now I haven't went in there and bought nothing. I think they cooked some too. And then you see here US Foods. Now you can look them up on the internet. They're one of the largest uh, food distributors in this country, America. And they supply to restaurants, convenience stores, grocery stores, what have you. And what they've been doing is they've been uh, coming over here and selling products that would normally go to restaurants and stores here to the general public. 
Now how great is that? Fantastic. So, we're gonna head her on back up through the neighborhood and get that there uh, bucket of minerals to the house. So let me put y'all back on the dash. Now, there's our little library. Been there forever. One day I wanna take you in there. Cause they got some books from a long, long time ago. You know, back before we got PC and agenda correct. Let her head, let's head on up through the neighborhood. Ah, some of you long time viewers, you'll see some of this and remember it. Pecan trees there on the right in full leaf. Well, everything's in full leaf now. Here in South Alabama. couple of nice looking puppies we're gonna take it around here this uh, particular road here follows around uh, the lake or what Thurlow Reservoir that's uh, backed up by Thurlow Dam here on the Tallapoosa River it just follows it around it's over to the left folks you can't see it because everything's green now I don't see too many people out. Of course, they may be up at the lake. I saw on uh, internet a lot of people going up the lake this weekend, this week, putting their travel trailers up there, putting their boats in like they always do. And that, now I'm sure this coming weekend, like last weekend, be full on. And there's our uh, city. Uh, swim pool. It's real nice. It's the only one we got in Towson. And of course there's all kinds of softball fields. And I don't know if you can see it over there. I'll sort of swerve. You can see the tennis courts. The only place in Towson where we got them too. You know, if I wasn't riding with y'all all jammed in the car, I'd throw me on some of that music. You know, from the 60s and 70s, early 80s. I don't get much further past that. And I'd be just a rockin', you know, classic rock. That great music from back in the day, 50s, 60s, 70s. Yep, that was my ear. I don't even think they make songs that good anymore. Maybe y'all have a different opinion. But I can't because YouTube give me a copyright strike again. And that's never a good thing. I already got one. Try not to get a second one because they say if you get three, then you could get your uh, channel taken down. God forbid I don't want that. Always glad to see that American flag flying. I've got one too that I put out on occasion. 
I need to really put it out more often. And of course, I got a big old uh, jacked up pickup truck back behind me. Now, he turned off, thankfully. I'll try to take that noise out of the video because it's just really tranquil today. Now I'm coming up the back way. Up uh, on what we call Sims Avenue. And that once you get up to a certain point it's just a little old poor folk I don't mind they don't bother Mr. Tom they're just trying to make a living and get by too maybe one day everybody will realize that we're just all trying to live life make a living and get by I mean, there's not many days that go by that I don't ask God just if that could come to pass. But I got to rely on his wisdom. He'll do it in good time, I'm sure. I'm going to cut some more grass if it'll stay dry. Well, at least when I press the brakes now, they don't sound like they're about to tear up. So that's a good thing. Of course, you can't tell I used any gas at all. That's not a good thing. We'll have to think more on this. Maybe y'all have some suggestions. So, let's get her out and take uh, our mineral bucket over to where we'll be planting. Now we ain't gonna be planting today. We'll plant tomorrow morning. It's just getting too late. I'm back, Magoo. And there's Cleo up there too. What? I'm back. Didn't nothing happen to Papa. You know I was well protected. Huh. I didn't want to walk over there because you'd have followed me, you and Cleo. And then somebody probably run over you on the road. So let's get out this bucket of nutrients and water retention media and of course it was free so what's better than that and tomorrow when I uh, use it to plant those tomatoes and pepper plants I'll show y'all just how to do it too Okay, for now, we're just going to set it over here under the big oak tree. I think underneath my planting table. And that, I'm going to have to listen out because if it starts to rain, and rain hard, they said there was a slight chance tonight, but I don't see it on the radar. So I ain't believing it. We'll come out, grab it, and put it in the cop boat. Come on, Magoo. Let's sit down a minute. We'll chat to the with the friends and family, and all those in our virtual neighborhood, and then we'll head her on in. Okay? Come on. Yep, there's Cleo too. Both of you. No, they love seeing you. Both of you. Cleo's starting to look a lot better. Yep, I know everybody's concerned about her. So am I. Come on, Magoo. Y'all coming? 
Or are you just going to interrupt me in mid-sentence like normal? No, okay. Well, there you have it. We took a little three block ride to get us some minerals. Now I gotta get over my goo here because he's tearing up my legs. Clawing up them. You got some sharp claws, don't you, little buddy? Yes, you're like tricks. Razor sharp. Mm-hmm. We'll get you uh, your comfy place so you can make an make, uh, appearance on the video, okay? I love you too, buddy. Couldn't take you with me. I don't want y'all following me over there on foot. People are mean. They'll run over a kitty, especially a black one. I don't want to do that. But you have to forgive me, okay? Next time I'll put you in the car. Okay? That way I don't leave you there crying. But you were still there waiting at the driveway when I got back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so was Cleo. Well, she's waiting up to walk away. Well, so as you can see, like normal, we got us a lap full of kitty. Cleo at our feet. And they were waiting on Papa to come home. We weren't gone that long. And of course, I'm sure Trixie was waiting inside the door. We just wanted to run out, fix up some of that there fine Alabama red clay packed with a lot of different nutrients micronutrients and we're going to be mixing it up tomorrow with our native soil here and some of our compost and we're going to use it and plant those tomatoes and that'll help feed them and since clay retains moisture and it expands it suck suck up some moisture and it actually expands and it releases it slowly if you have clay soil, you'll understand how long it takes for it to dry out and that. But here, as you know, i got 8, 10 inches now of nice sandy loom organic matter. You know, that black gold. And that stuff dries out quickly. Trust me, it does. And we've already been watering. Hang with Magoo. You're going to come back. You just can't be away for more than a minute or two, can you? <laughs> You're gonna give me some lickings. I love you. So, I'll take you with me tomorrow when we do that. Won't be all that long video. It ain't rocket science, is it, Magoo? No. Anybody can do this gardening thing if they just try, don't they? And you help too. You help Papa. Yep. You're fertilizing, doing your thing. <laughs> and that's okay, little buddy. You know, Papa loves you. I love Cleo. I wonder where Elrod is. Have you seen him today? Have you seen Elrod? I'm sure he'll be around later. Aw, he'll be around. Yes, he will. Woo! I gotta remember to wash up before I go in. Or Trix will be beside herself. Huh. Yep. <laughs> so, y'all, that's about it for today. I just wanted to whip out a quick video. Not sure how long this one's gonna be. And that. I wanted to pick up that clay. So I can use it tomorrow. And I wanted to run that car a little bit. You know, right here within a mile of the house and we didn't go much farther than that and the way i look at i was alone in my car all sealed up windows up a hepa filter filtering out the air shoot that's way better than my home i don't have hepa filters in my little window units i tried couldn't find any that would fit i do got filters best i could get in that but I think we were okay. We made it back home safe and sound. And we'll continue on. So y'all, until I see you on the next video. And Magoo. Right, Magoo? Yes. Oh. Y'all take care out there. <coughs> Stay safe. And you know, 
God bless you, your families, and friends, and loved ones. Remember, keep praying. Keep praying for all those essential workers, those that have no choice to work, and all of us in our community, our nation, and on our planet. So, Magoo, what do you say? Ready to head her on in? Call this one a wrap. Okay. I need to get some cold water anyway. Then I'll come back out and sit with you and Cleo a while. Of course, I, I gotta love up Trixie too, okay? No, okay. No. <laughs> come on, buddy. Oh, let go. I got to go. Oh, I don't wanna drop you. Oh. There you go. I'll be back. Cleo, watch out for the beans now. Don't be laying on the beans. I think that's who's got a few of them. But you know what? That don't make me mad or disturbed. That's just part of it. We stuck some more seed in there a couple of days ago. It'll come up. All will be well. Cleo! Oh, Cleo. Oh my God. Look what, look what showed up today. Oh, we got to go in and get some gloves and we got to deal with this. There's a bunch of stuff. Woo. I'll take a look at who all sent this. Okay. You guard it. You guard it for me, Magoo. I'm going in. Take care of tricks. Get my gloves. And I'll be back out. Okay? Oh. I'm sure it's from some viewers, subscribers. You just can't understand the blessings that me and the kitty crew and Trixie have received in the last week and a half. It's been totally amazing and unbelievable. And I thank you for every last piece. So, gonna head her on in. Later all.